Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Ben with Bath 4-H. Hope everybody's doing all right. Today I'm gonna to be guiding you through our next activity in the Magic of Electricity program. And in today's activity, we are going to continue building on what we learned from last month's activity. Uh, last month, we learned what a circuit is. Now, if you can think back to that activity, we used a battery and an aluminum foil and a light bulb to create that circuit. And ultimately, a circuit is just a pathway which allows electricity to flow through it. So in that activity, the electricity flowed from one end of the battery through your aluminum foil, which was touching the bottom of the battery. Um, then the other side of your aluminum foil was touching your light bulb, uh, which was sitting on top of the battery, and that created a complete circuit. When everything was touching each other, it allowed for that electricity to flow from one end of the battery back into the top um, through the foil and the light bulb, which allowed for that light bulb to light up and we built our first circuit in that activity. So today we're gonna build on that knowledge and we are gonna learn more about circuits. Specifically, we're gonna learn about open circuits and closed circuits. So to begin learning more about open and closed circuits, I want you to think about things that are powered by electricity, such as a computer or a microwave, maybe your television or an electric can opener. Now to operate those things, do you flip a switch or press a button to turn them on or off? Yeah, you do. Just about everything that uses electricity has a switch that turns the flow of electrons on or off. When the switch is opened, the electrons don't have a complete path to follow and the appliance, whatever it is, the TV or, or the light bulb, um, the appliance can't do its work. That's an open circuit when the pathway is open. All right? When the switch is closed, those electrons do have a complete path and the circuit is complete and the appliance will work. So today we are actually going to build a simple switch that's going to allow you to turn that light bulb that we used in our activity last week on or off. All right, so in order for us to build our switch so that we can learn more about open and closed circuits, we're gonna need a few things from our kits. So the first thing that you'll need is a battery holder, just one for today. We have a battery holder. We'll need a battery to go with it. We're also going to need our light bulb holder with the light bulb. We will need one extra wire. And the last thing that we're gonna need is this little square cardboard here with a couple of brads stuck through it and a paper clip attached to those brads. This is going to serve as our switch. It's going, it's just going to allow us to move between an open and a closed circuit. So we're gonna need all of these materials. Now, the first thing that we're gonna to need to do with our materials is put our battery in our battery holder. Remember to match up our symbols, positive to positive, negative to negative. This is a little tough, so if you require assistance from mom or dad or somebody else who's a little older in the house, don't hesitate to ask them. We'll also need to twist in the light bulb into the round hole in our light bulb holder. Make sure that the bottom of your light bulb touches that bottom metal plate on the light bulb holder. And now that we've got that set up, we can go ahead with our activity. Now what we're gonna be doing is building a switch. So we're gonna create a, build a circuit that's the middle of the switch, or the middle of the circuit is gonna have this switch in it. And when it looks like this, it'll be an open circuit and the light won't light up. But hopefully if everything works out for us, when we close our circuit, and everything is touching, so we'll have our, our paper clip touching our breads, then our circuit will be complete, and it'll allow for our light bulb to light up. All right, so in order to build this, there's some instructions in the book that I'll, I'll show you, but the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is attach one of our wires in our, coming out of our battery holder to our light bulb holder. So I'll go ahead and attach that. All right. Um, let's see, the next thing that we'll do is we will take our switch and I am going to take out one of my brads and then I'm going to wrap this wire around it. And we want a nice good connection so make sure that your wire is touching the metal on that brad and then I'm going to slip it back through the cardboard. All right, so there's one done. The next one, I'll take the other brad out. This one's got the paper clip on it. I'll set the paper clip to the side. And then again, I'm going to tightly wrap this wire around so that I've got a good connection. Again, this is not, it's not easy. 
So you might need to ask for some help. If you do, no big deal. All right, and then I'm going to stick that back through. And then the last thing I need to do, oh, I left out the important piece, didn't I? I left out my switch, my paper clip, so I'm gonna slide that on. Then I can loop my wire through there. Again, stick it back through. All right, so right now it's not touching, so my, my, uh, my circuit is an open circuit. I will complete it by touching. All right, so now we've got the power coming out of one end of my battery. It's going here, but my, switch, my, my circuit is open because my paper clip is not touching the, the metal here, All right? And then it goes through the other end into my light bulb holder, uh, through the light bulb holder back into the other end of the battery. So if I can close my circuit by touching this metal paper clip to the metal brad, uh, what should happen is my light bulb should light up. So let me try closing the circuit. And it's working. I hope you all can see that. That when I close the circuit, it lights up. When I open the circuit, the light goes away. Close it, open it. Close it, open. Close circuit, open circuit. I'm gonna put up this diagram in case anybody needs help with building their switch. Of course, you can always email me at benjaminh at vt.edu if you have any questions or need any assistance. I hope everyone was able to have some success building their switch today. Now you should have a better understanding of circuits and how they're able to work. Remember, a circuit is just a pathway that allows for electricity to flow. However, we now understand that that circuit has to be closed in order for the uh, current to be able to uh, make a complete path through the circuit. It has to be a closed circuit. If it's an open circuit, it's not going to be able to work. So, thanks for taking the time to join in with the activity today. I uh, enjoyed working with you. I look forward to doing another one of these in a couple weeks. Thanks!